Hi, my name is Sabrina, and today I'm going to be talking about a book that I have just recently read, which is called Winter Girls by Lori House Anderson. So to give a brief summary, it is a story of an 18-year-old girl named Leah Overbrook who has been battling anorexia since she was in 8th grade. She and her former best friend Cassie made a promise to be the most skinniest girls in school. Leah, who is one of the main characters, is an anorexic cutter, and her best friend, who is also a big part of this book, Cassie is bulimic. Six months after their friendship broke apart, Cassie is found dead in a motel room after binging and purging. The night before she died, she had called Leah 33 times, but Leah never answered. Days after Cassie's death, Leah is being haunted by Cassie's ghost. At first, the ghost simply just appears to her, letting her know that Cassie's spirit is still around and that she has unfinished business with Leah. But as the hauntings continue, Cassie begins to follow Leah around and even try to talk to her. It becomes clear to Leah that Cassie wants her to cross over to the other side. As Leah's self-harming becomes more out of control, Cassie's hauntings become more frequent. And she is urging Leah to hurry up. Finally, passed out in the same motel room where Cassie died, Leah, at her lowest weight yet, nearly overdoses on sleeping pills, trying to shut out the voices that haunt her dreams. On Cassie's last visit, Cassie welcomes Leah to the other side, saying she is so proud of her and that death is only a moment away. Leah then realizes she wants to live and does all she can to come back to life and stay away from Cassie. And since she experienced that, from that moment on, she knows that she must change the way she views herself and her body if she wants to live. She enters the hospital and doesn't fight her treatment, and for the first time in a long time, Leah actually wants to live. So as I was reading this book, I noticed there was a couple themes going on. This book is very powerful, and I believe the theme of the book, well, one of the ones, one of the themes in the book is to be confident with your image. The methods that these girls use in order to be skinny are used in real life by many. Starving can result to getting a sickness, and also purging can become addicting. For example, Cassie, when she died, she had purged so many times it ripped her throat and her death was very painful. I believe the author wants her readers to realize that all this damage that people do to themselves is not worth it and it also comes with consequences. Also, I noticed another theme, which is that everything is conquerable. Leah, who suffered a lot in her teenage years, struggled a lot while trying to get better. She faced a lot of trials on her journey to recovery, and she even had to get past the ghost version of her best friend on her way there. Eventually, she did get there. It took a series of trips to different doctors and sessions with specialists, but in the end, she was able to say, I am thawing, on page 278. I would recommend this book to young adults who face these problems in real life. Yes, there are some triggers because the author goes into detail about what the girls do to themselves. But I think the end is what really brings the book all together. And she, the author talks about real life issues that aren't easy to talk about and not, not many want to talk about it. But she is and she is able to give a positive ending which I believe is really good and I can also change the minds of people that are going through things like this. I really enjoyed the book and I hope you enjoy it too.